We now go to the Bulldog with details tonight on the empty podium debate that everybody is talking about. The two candidates in the runoff for Secretary of State invited weeks ago to debate on Georgia Public Broadcasting, but only one showed up. Yeah, it was a little odd. Tonight, the no-show candidate is now feuding with debate organizers about just who's to blame. The chief investigator, Jonathan Carlson, was in the audience. There were two podiums, one for Democrat John Barrow and one for Republican challenger Brad Raffensperger. But Raffensperger didn't show up. After offering myself up to debate this Barrow guy... This is the debate among candidates for Secretary of State. They opted for an empty podium instead. Good call, but it didn't stop things from getting awkward. Let's meet the candidates. They are in alphabetical order. Uh oh. John Barrow, a Democrat. Wait for it. And Brad Raffensperger is the Republican candidate. Oh, that's not good. Brad Raffensperger decided not to attend. He is represented by an empty podium. And the train rolled on from there. Thank you. You now have 30 seconds for a rebuttal. I think I've already given the rebuttal. That concludes the second part of our program. Oh, thank God. But you have to give the Atlanta Press Club credit for sponsoring the 15-minute solo debate, whose intention was to enlighten the voters picking Georgia's next Secretary of State, a position of paramount importance, given the questions raised about electoral supervision in the state. Late today, Brad Raffensperger released a statement on social media saying the Press Club refused to offer any alternative time to debate, citing a scheduling conflict for his absence. The press club fired back, calling his statements inaccurate. After the debate, candidate John Barrow didn't hold back. The excuse for not being here that it was a last minute scheduling conflict is just as phony as his excuse for not paying his taxes and lying about it every time the guy filed for public office. Ouch. Unfortunately, Brad Raffensperger wasn't there to rebut that accusation. However, in his defense, his statement went on to say that his previously scheduled campaign event 200 miles away was planned weeks ago. He did debate John Barrow on the radio just yesterday, guys. But in this business, as you know, optics is everything. Sure, and the debate was planned weeks ago, too. That almost yeah. looked like an SNL skit. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. Okay. And you didn't get your chance. Yeah. You were ready, though, right? Yeah. yeah. Of course. You're writing.